everybody experiences symptoms of breathlessness. When you run, sometimes you get out of breath. For me, that symptom was always there. My name is Peter McQuitty. I was diagnosed with asthma at the age of two, so I have been asthmatic for more than 60 years. People have to make decisions about what they do with their lives. I had to become clever because I wasn't going to miss out on the good things of life just because of my breathing. When I was in primary school, I got a very bad cold. Lots of kids were, were getting a bad cold. Mine didn't get better. It was so bad that I was taken out of school and I spent the best part of the next 12 months propped up on, on pillows. The realisation that I was going to be dependent on drugs for the rest of my life was a major psychological hurdle at first. I overcame this, so I had to measure my expectations, but I didn't stop doing things. My aim was to enjoy my life in spite of the serious disability that I had. I saw many, many doctors. There were uh, the doctor who said that my asthma was triggered by very hot weather, another who said my asthma was triggered by very bad weather, the doctor who said to my mother when I was about 11 years old, this child has got asthma because you got divorced. The diagnosis of asthma back then was very haphazard. I was often prescribed the same things over and over again, even when they clearly weren't working. Looking back, I have some sympathy for the doctors who were trying to diagnose what was wrong with me, but nobody knew what they were really treating. Thankfully, there is important medical research being done with the amount of knowledge that we have available, the diagnostic tools, and with the drugs that are being developed. If your doctor isn't giving you the diagnosis that you feel is right, you need to press that doctor. You need to seek out the things that will make your life better. When I was finally referred to the specialists, I started to learn a huge amount about my own disease and what was causing it. And I think building that link is a really important part of future development of medicine for asthma. This new treatment has changed my life. It's an injection that is administered by the hospital once a month. It's targeted specifically at the kind of asthma that I have. Instead of being working at, at half pace because I can't breathe, I'm able to give my all to what I do. I haven't had a severe asthma attack in the last two years. I don't spend time in hospital. I'm a much more productive member of the economy. I've worked with the City Council managing major cultural partnerships and large-scale events in the city. These are the drugs that I take every day. The new drug doesn't replace these drugs. It's a biological treatment, something which does a very similar job to what the corticosteroids used to do, but without the nasty side effects. This is a sign of where asthma research is going. Let's discover the cause and let's then develop a treatment which addresses those causes.